Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. And you tell me, does this look like a cave to you? Nope. But that's the cave. I guess they intentionally made it a little hard to see. But this is the cave I've been looking for, and apparently we walked right by it. <laughs> it was just invisible. Every one of these caves with one of these uh, coffins seems to have some pretty good stuff in it. Die, die, die. I shall attend to it in a truck. Loot, loot, loot. How may I be of assistance? Explode, explode, explode. May Oral is a fine day to die. Loot. Excellent. This time, you have but to ask. Loot that and loot this thing. Boom. Potion, 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 potion. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Book, book, book. Apparently yes. full. Um, let's do that. Do that. Do that. It shall be as you wish. Loot that. Excellent. This tome, I guess we have to identify it first. I don't know if I've rested. We could rest in here, right? Sure. Quick save. Uh, because we're nearly time? out of heal spells. I guess the heal gets auto-cast, but let's make it explicit over here and do that. Rest in a cave with a creepy cutscene. Take off your armor. Identify. Bam! Tome of Leadership and Influence. Read it to get plus one charisma permanently. And put it on your quick item slot, apparently. Uh, so, again, like this is just going to raise my charisma from three to four, which really isn't much. But I'm the main character. I get to read all the tomes. Boom. That's just the way it is. Right magic. Gotta collect all the spells. And then if I have extras, I can give them to her to write in her book. Which one is this? Cold resistance? Sure. That's the wine. Those are some extra quest items. Hill giant strength. Really? Well, giant strength is what? Strength 19 for two hours? Actually, I guess we can give it to Minsk when it's time to go melee mode. Because, ah, actually, Minsk is stronger than I am. What am I thinking? Minsk is uh, 18 slash 93 or 94 or something, which is definitely better than me. There we go. All right. Done. Let's get out of here. I shall attend to it in a trice. So, we are now going... Right up over here. I shall attend to it in a trice. Do your best to pass find your way over there. We gotta kill our way into the actual Noel uh, fortress and rescue Dinah here. Which will make Minsk very happy. Minsk and Boo. Then we'll have to decide uh, who we're keeping around, if any. If we're keeping the pair around, right? Minsk and Dinah here. Dinah here is another spellcaster. Minsk is cool and awesome and funny. Which makes him very appealing that way. Now, at some point, I will probably just want to run a full six-person party. Yeah, it's nice to get all those, you know, extra XP. And it's, like, not worth keeping someone who's not super good or super interesting. And um, Nira is interesting. Dining here is kind of going to be redundant with Nira. And there's going to be a lot of dead wizards. If Dining here dies, I probably won't res her. And I think that's okay. I don't remember. I don't remember if Minsk will freak out if that happens. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Might freak out at the time. Mints does have a berserk ability that I keep not using. Go for the ice pool. Go for the ice Die, die, die. Ow. Go for the ice pool. Go for the ice Guess they're doing a little bit more damage than I expected. May have undervalued the danger of Knowles. You have but to ask. How much uh, XP did we get for killing him? 65 apiece? Alright, not bad. It shall be as you wish. It's like four Svarts of Earth. Plus a tip on the end. Tempest, give us victory! 
They should still be within four hit dice, so I think we can still sleep them and do all kinds of nonsense like that when it comes up. And they do go down pretty fast. As I say that, this guy's indestructible. Uh, uh -huh. stay away from my squishy spellcaster. Thank you. What is it this time? By tempt is a fine There'll be safety. Butt kicking for goodness. What is your command? Command you to grab an egg. Yes. Also, I should probably not carry all these skulls around. But I probably will. Maybe for the rest of the game. I don't know. Do -do -do. So, I really have to just get up here. I could clear everything in all the fights, but there's not that much XP here. Eat flaming or uh, possibly frosty death. They're not saying like die scum in a really sort of whispery voice. Um What is it this time? Stand back and watch this. How may I be of assistance? Okay, I'm going to change your AI. I'm just going to switch you to a flat-out ranged script, after all. Turns out I want to be able to manually cast spells. Because that was a stupid, stupid waste of, I think, a sleep spell. Turns out I'm going to micromanage you a little bit more than I expected. Oh, is that a friendship spell? My turn to save the day. I think there might be one more body in here, but I don't think I want to bother with the clicking that much. Friends is nice. Very short duration. Causes the wizard to temporarily gain six points of charisma. Those of you the caster tend to be very impressed and make efforts. Vicious Barracrats. I don't know if it like does more than just the plus six charisma. How may I be but hey, I it's nice to have when such. you've got a character who's tanked as charisma. So now if I cast that, I'd actually have a charisma of 10, which is not crap anymore. Actually, let's move back in here. Try to choke point this guy in here so they can't get to my squishies behind me. Very nice. Flaming or, uh, possibly frosty death. That was fast. Nope. Oh. Enemy sighted. Tempus. Stay where you are. I shall attend to what you Yes? Mm, I'm surprised with the long pole arms. He apparently can't reach me. Oh, maybe there was a swing there. This might be a good spot for a sleep spell, actually. We only got the one left. Time? Or, hey, tell you what, why don't uh, burning hands these guys? That, I think, might be even better here. Really? No kills? That guy definitely got hit by fire, so let's hit him. Oh, they're no veterans! Not just regular gnolls. I understand why they're a lot tougher. Now, some of these I think were regular gnolls, but these are not. I'm actually happy I didn't try to sleep them. They might have four hit dice. Or more. Because sleep and uh, color spray only works on things with fewer than four hit dice. Hit dice is like basically like level, um, but at level one you can take things on that have more hit dice than just one yes. because it's not the same as character it levels. Be as yada yada yada. So the spells sort of become crap a lot faster than you might expect, but they're still super amazing for like at the time that they're relevant, they're insane. I mean, like when you put a whole party of enemies to sleep and then you just go around slitting their throats, GG. There's a gem over there. Make way, kicking for goodness. Yeah, I forgot that I'm also getting Mints to do a lot of range attacks, so the oh, yeah, 18 uh, dexterity is really helping him. Uh, uh -huh. stay away from the person you can one shot. This I shall attend to it in a trot. Yes. Up at the stairs. And I don't think there's any, like, really crazy items hiding anywhere. So overall, I'm mostly going to try just to avoid some fights. This is a little tricksy because... And let's find out if sleep works. 
And it does. Let's give them a right fresh. Yeah, I didn't like having my party sort of split here coming in. But it turned out to be fine. Do, do, do. Where do we go? Is it this way? I don't think so. Nope. Down here. <laughs> do, do. Invading the Knoll stronghold, killing all of them. Just because, you know, gnolls are evil. That's it. Like, no further justification is given. Well, we're here to save Dinah here, but... It's not like we try to negotiate with her or anything. I mean, we just show up and they attack, so... I guess that's the story. Um... Maybe down here? Yes? I guess so. You have but to ask. You have but. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're at the top of the map, so... It makes sense it's a bit dead-endy. Yeah, it might be down here. There's another path over here, too, although I don't think you can get into the Knoll Fortress any other way than the one gate. Um... No, oh, she's just in here, isn't she? That's what it is. Viewpoint. Minsk, go down there. That's what it is. So easy to miss. There we go. Thy decency is refreshing. So many we meet are lacking. It was courageous to follow the likes of Minsk into battle. If it touch foolish, I have not to offer thee in return, save my services in battle. Perhaps I could travel with thee a while, and an opportunity may arise for repayment of my debt. Minsk is, well, Minsk, but he hath a strong sword arm, whilst I practiced, while, whilst I am practiced in the arcane arts. Shall I join? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. 800 XP! Woot! I leveled up! How may I be of assistance? That's probably my fighter level, yeah, still ways before my mage level. Which, I think at this point, will only give me a single spell slot. I guess it'd give me some extra hit points, too. So right now, I'm at uh, 19 of 19. Four extra hit points. Plus one to hit. I'll take it. Boom. Very nice. And yeah, the mage level, I guess it'll give me uh, a couple of hit points or whatever, depending on how things get rounded with my constitution bonus and things. And then, yeah, one extra spell. No, no more to hit, but that's okay. We'll All right. Time. So Dinah here is a invoker which is a specialist mage which means she gets an extra spell slot for like blasty blasty spells which is good actually we're just going to give you a standard range script which is going to be a smart way to operate uh you have no gear you're slightly injured we can give you a quarter staff and we'll have to get you a sling do you have any proficiencies sling good that's exactly how i liked to build my casters. Uh, spell slots. Magic Missile and Burning Hands, which is all you know right now. We could teach you some more. Um, that's, you know, assuming... Well, no, actually, we only have Magic Missile and Burning Hand scrolls. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, you know what? Leave them in the inventory. We'll just sell them next time we're in town. Uh, yeah, as I say, we could teach you some more, but if we do that, then, you, you know, rang? are we keeping you around? Because it's a bit of an investment. What level are you? Must be level two, yeah. Lawful good. Yes. Well, shall be as you wish. I guess that's fine. So, I want to check out what's over here. I don't think, there might be like a barrel over here or another couple of gnolls, but nothing to worry about. You can see the pathfinding is sort of failing over there. Just when they're clustered together. So then you just like give it the click a second time, and then they have an easy time to get there. So, there, there's something over here, but I don't think it's particularly significant. Maybe another couple of gnolls, and that'll be it. We may as well clear it, and then go to town. Now, we have no more time limit at this point, because Minsk isn't going to freak out that we haven't gone to help Dinah here, which gives us a lot more freedom to maybe go and clear up some areas. That being said, at this point, I feel confident enough that our party is probably sturdy enough to handle the Nashkel Mines. Um, in a relatively easy manner. The only person who's a little bit sketchy is Nira, because she's got no hit points. So even Dinah here has 11. How come Dinah here has more? She's got a con of 16. That would make a difference. Well, if we can ever get... Um, I don't know if there's a con item, right? Like like, um, like the dexterity item here. If there's one that sets your constitution to 18, 
or 16 would be all that matters since uh, a non-fighter can't get anything above 16. That'll be a great thing to give to Nira. Really buff her up quite a bit. What is it this? It shall be as you wish. Because right now, no matter what we do to her AC or anything like that, she's still going to have some issues. What's her AC with the spell? Three, which isn't bad. It's not great, but it's sufficient. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, I should probably have Minsk just go melee, just to have more melee, so I don't just get surrounded. But on the other hand, he's got the bonus decks, so give them a right what the hell, right? Let's actually do this. Make sure everyone it will right. be in range. And, uh, and you have no spells. Uh -huh. And... Is this burning hands? Color spray. Yeah, let's use color spray. Hey! What is it this time? They're all unconscious, and they won't wake up. Are we... Are we color sprayed? But I have friendly fire turned off. Is it because it's not a damage spell? Oh, I didn't realize monsters do three-quarter damage. Am I wrong about friendly fire? Because it used to be there was, like, a core and a normal. And the difference between core and normal was that on normal you didn't get... Um, there was no friendly fire. <laughs> uh, I wonder what happens when I learn fireball. Well, we better kill these guys before before they wake up, because they'll wake up presumably at the same time as the rest of my party. Oh, that's color spray scrolls. I don't want any more color spray. What level scroll is that? Holy cow! Eat flaming. Uh huh. Okay. This group shows promise. Yeah, yeah, it shows promise exceptional. Uh, have you noticed the part where I accidentally nuked my entire party? Whatever they need. What is it this time? Okay, let's use the wand then. We'll save. Assuming this is another higher level scroll. Because this wand's not that useful. Other than that it's guaranteed to hit. Okay. I'll Whew. do it. Yes? I should like, hey, what happened? Price. Uh, nothing. I mean, don't get me wrong, Nira's uh, got a reputation, she's she's a wild mage for a reason, right? Things sometimes happen. I should probably use, like, Reckless Dweamer, just for the hell of it. Okay, it's just a way out. Fair enough, I like it. It's the whole reason you make a wild mage, of course. Um, so yeah, I think we'll do the Nashkel Mines. I think I'll go to Nashkel, rest, uh, maybe get an extra sling. How may I it shall be as you wish. It's the Winter Wolf! What is it this time? Alright. Let's call plate and cool one song. People with hit points can start Let's attacking. Give them a right Everyone else wait until it's aggroed on someone. Like that. Yes. It shall be as you Oops. wish. Oops. No, I was just trying to give the window focus again. Is someone out of arrows? Hello. Oh. Well, you're not out, actually, but I guess it's fine that you just melee. I guess your weapon probably got reset when you got knocked out. You point, I punch. You have but to ask. Oh, yeah, can't save here. Do, 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 do. Let's go back to Nashkel. Excellent. Be as you wish. And we're going to go rest at the inn. Actually, what we're going to do first... I think it's right in here somewhere. Isn't it? I think right next to this tree. There's a little nook over there. There's, there's like an keg plate somewhere in here. Oh, maybe this one. Err, it's somewhere around here. Let me see. Do 
I don't think we need vision of it. It's one of these little trees here. It's a little hole. There it is. A little dent. Excellent. So, NK plate is great because, again, it is full plate, but lighter. So, plate mail. Actually, that's right. It's full plate. It's not plate mail. It's full plate. So, plate mail has an AC of 3 and weighs 50. Ancake plate has an AC of 1. It is full plate and a weight of 25, which I don't remember the weight of full plate, but it's even more than this. I'm still the frontline fighter, so I'm going to put that on. Minsk can then have the plate mail. Uh, and I don't think we need... Yeah, you've got that already, so we're not going to do that. My AC is now 4. Nine, or minus 4. Really, really, really good. If we do kill some ancakes, we can get more of these made. Oh, such bustle. The cities of Rashomon are How empty may I be of you, shall be as you wish. Really? You find Nashkel to be the crazy one? Uh, who's slowed? Me? Oh, you. Of course you. You have surprisingly little strength. What is it this time? It shall be as you wish. Alright, uh, in. Also store. Uh. Okay. Didn't know you could put, uh... Little waypoints? I wonder if they'll get shared by the party. Like, if in a multiplayer setting. Hmm. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, I shouldn't do that, because every time you reset the pathfinding, they pause for a second. So we'll sell the extra kit, we'll have a night's rest in the inn, and then we're going to head to Nashville Mines. That sounds very bad, Minsk. Casting spells isn't as easy as I make it look. I'm tired. Who's got the highest charisma? Still 13? The highest charisma in our party is still a 13? We're pathetic! Yes. Ooh, I'm tired. Although, if I gave the friend scroll to her instead of him, then she'd at least end up with, uh... Actually, better here, an 18 charisma. How may I be of assistance? We'll have to keep that in mind if we find another friend scroll. Might even buy one. Assuming we keep dying here around here. And in Baldur's Gate 2, you just want to, like, sort of spam as many spellcasters as you can. Uh, well, a couple of frontline fighters to, you know, tank up, and then spellcasters just own everything. What is your command? Eh, business has been poor, but, the but in Baldur's Gate 1, spellcasters are just so squishy. Ah, pelts! Excellent! You will... Ooh, 500 gold My for those pelts. And another one. Yeah, I was going to say, I have more than one, buddy. Business has been poor, but with the iron shortage and Excellent. Okay, if I click on the gem bag... Does it open up? Double click. There we go. Click, 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 click. Sell all those gems. Close the container. Uh, wait, hold on. Was there still one in there? There is. Uh, Bandit's cup. I think we turned them in somewhere specifically. Let's sell more gems over here. All right, 3,700 bucks. We can really start to buy some magic items soon. I'm going to sell the extra color sprays. I mean, we could use them, but no. Sell that. Okay, keep the boots and the wine, because it's still a quest to turn in. Sell the extra split mail. I think that's fine. Um, let's see. I mean, we can load up on arrows and stuff like that. I should actually go and make sure everyone's topped off. There's a plus one large shield, but we don't... I mean, other than um, Khalid, we don't really have anyone that uses shields, and Khalid's no longer with us. He's not dead. We just, you know, don't use him anymore. Um, I think that's going to be fine. Let me just make sure that our range situation is okay. Yeah, we still have an extra couple of slots there. You, actually, we could use some more sling stones. We've gone through a lot of sling stones. Wow. The customer is always right. We need to buy some rocks, please. Just some little pebbles, but correctly shaped. There we go. Two stack. Actually, if we're going to go into the mines, we're going to be in there for a while. Let me go and, like, overkill on these bullets. There. Four stack each. And I should just get rid of the skulls. I, I don't think you get you use them for anything. And honestly, if we're going to get them off every single skeleton we kill, then clearly we don't need them. Oops. That off. All right. Da, 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 da. We got a bunch of crap here. That um, 
No, I'll keep the pantaloons with me. And then we have Grand Scroll, which we still don't really need to keep. But I guess I can't sell it anywhere. So let me just toss it then. I don't think I need this for anything. Yeah. Get rid of you, and I have a copy of a book that someone might buy, but hasn't come up yet, so let's just toss it. Still got those bolts. I could store them in my quiver. That's save a little bit of space. I mean, they're plus one bolts, so I kind of like the idea of keeping them around in case someone ends up doing the crossbow thing. All right, good enough. What you have but to ask. You have but to ask. You have but. You have but to ask. Never had rats. No sorry. Your best room, good sir. Excellent. Everyone's rested up. Spells are reassigned. Oh, oh, I have to buy a yes, sling for ask. Dinah here. I don't want her to go around meleeing. Do, 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 do. It'd be nice if we could get a magic sling, but I don't think he's got one in stock. But dye your hair? Is there anything else would be pretty dumb? With the iron shortage and all. Sling. Boop. And I'm going to want to go crazy on these. So, control. No, that doesn't help. Shift. Ah! Ah, oh, we're buying in stacks of eight now. Well, for a second there. Okay, so that'll put three in your quiver. Um, what was it? Shift a second time. Okay. Or did I just click a second time? There. Boom. Oh, that is so much better. All right. You, equip that, and these. Let me do this. That way, if you get disabled and re-enabled, I think you'll default to the first weapon, which will be better. All right. So this might be more sling stones than she needs, but she can redistribute it among the party, Tell which is excellent. Resistance. You have but to ask. I shall attend to it in a trice. Um... Let's let's go see what's down here. It's probably just some extra houses that are locked or something. But let's poke through that, finish this map completely, and then head out to the mines. Mines are pretty big. There's multiple levels going on here, and they're they're relatively maze-like. A bit of a tough fight in the end. But it advances the story, moves the chapter forward. So I think completing the mines completes one extra chapter. And then we got to go after some bandits, and that completes another chapter. And then we actually enter Baldur's Gate itself, the reason the game is called Baldur's Gate. And then it's like, man, this game is huge. I mean, I'm going through it relatively fast because I've played it a bunch. And yes, this is relatively fast. I actually say this is a pretty impressively fast run through. There's a lot of content in this. I mean, it's not Skyrim, but give me a break. <laughs> What the hell else is Skyrim? Not even, like, Fallout is as big. Alright, let's go to the mines. No cutscene? Really? To it in a trice. Oh, I thought there was. I believe we have to find a tree stump or something near the top of the screen. For another awesome hidden object. Not gonna be up here, is it? Can we even walk up here? Oh, yeah. Aha, there's a tree and a hole in the tree. Step number one. Put a hole in the tree. I guess that'd be step number two. Hey, look at that. Some sort of wand. A wand of frost. I thought it was a wand of lightning, actually. Wand of frost does 8d6 cold damage. What? Only 10 charges. But it'll, it'll F stuff up when you use it. I'm going to keep that on my front line fighter. Okay. What is it this time? That that is a wand of I will make certain fights insanely easy. It's not single target either. It's a cone, right? But wand of frost. No, one creature. All right. Although I don't know. After that other ray that said it was one creature. Well, it didn't say it was one creature, but I assumed it was one creature. I'm no longer trusting of these effects. Uh, we're going to have to talk to someone for these guys to get by. Who is it? Emerson? Probably Emerson. And I think there's some other stuff above here, like some kobolds to fight, but, you know, who cares? It's better to die on your feet if Tempus wills it. Boop to boop boop. So you want to take a look at me mine, do you? Yeah, I do. All right. 
Yes? I shall attend to it in a trice. I think he lets us through now. Stand away, citizen. Yes, good luck. Okay, well, we're going to enter the mines, and we're going to put a cut in here. We must gather our party before venturing forth. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.